Aloha Cousins Briar 626 here, and today we are opening up another Bakugan storage container here. Um, now, this is the blue storage container. We just did the black one, so we are going to do the blue one now. If you want to see that black one, go ahead and click that card right there, and it will show you the uh, black one there that we unboxed, which is really cool. Um, fit quite a bit in there, and of course, I had to get two um, because, of course... As a special thing you guys can do with the two of them. Um, but let's go on ahead and get into that unboxing. All right, so we are here to unbox this one here. Um, now, of course, you could do the special thing with the two of them where you can combine them together uh, and it forms kind of like one big storage case. Um, so, which is really nice. That means you can hold more Bakugan, more cards, and more cores. So, yeah, so which is really cool. Um, now, with this one, of course, you do get the blue case and then, of course, you get the high doors. Um, the Aquas high doors here, the core version, not the ultra, um, which I don't have the core version, so it's just nice to get this. You get the two cores to go corresponding with the uh, Bahugan here, um, and then the character card to go with the Bahugan as well. Now, this fits quite a lot of Bahugan in it. Um, of course, there's quite a bit in there, like from the other one, um, it had quite a few. Um, so, with two of them, you can get more. Now, there is a red one, as you can see there. Um, I didn't want the red one as of right now because I only wanted kind of two, um, so I can do that combining. Uh, factor of things um, so yeah so I mean if you guys do want to see the red one let me know um, down in the comments below and I'll try to pick up the red one I might pick it up later on anyway just not quickly but if you want to see it soon let me know I'll, I'll get it and you guys can check it out um, so yeah so let's go ahead and get into some boxing here um, and take that and boom just cut that little hole right there and let's go ahead and open up now these are like a clear kind of uh, plastic so you kind of can see through them all uh, which is which is pretty nice yeet that paper uh let's go ahead and rip this open uh... all right <clears throat> throw that to the side now this is what it looks like here um it's got the uh silver lettering at the front there which looks really nice i like this kind of blue it looks really good of course the back of it here um now this is kind of like where they clip in to each other um so there's that and of course you got your little latches here to keep it all close and together. Open it up, and bum, 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 bum. there we go. We open it up. Get this cardboard out of here. Yeet. There we go. And, of course, you have your character card and your Bahu cores in there. And then your Bahu gun in here, um, which is in this plastic, that dreaded plastic. It was a pain to open the other one. It's going to be a pain to do this one. So... But first, let's go ahead and look at the uh, character card and the cores here. Um, I'm going to use my knife on this one because I had a pain opening the other one and it bent the card. Because this is like literally the only thing in here is the character card and the cores. So they bend really easily. Um, let's go ahead and get that out here. There we go. Throw that out of the way. Let's go ahead and look at the character card. Um, of course, we get the High Doors Aquas form. Um, for Then you get a... Uh, orange or yellow shield there and a DNA strength uh, 200 B power a little on the low end, but that damage though. That's six damage That's a pretty good amount of damage. Um, I think this is the exact same as The Dragonoid I think let me check here because I got Dragonoid on the side here I think it's like the same damage as Dragonoid which uh, which is pretty low um, Or Dragonoid does six. No, he does five. Oh, he does even more High Doors does even more than the Dragonoid. So, High Doors might be better than Dragonoid. I don't know, but I mean, I like Dragonoid better anyway, because it's just me. But, uh, but yeah. So, there's that. Um, of course, the cores to go with them. You have the DNA Strand here. Um, and it does minus 100 B power. Ooh, but plus 4 damage. Ooh, landing on that. That's going to put you at 100 B power, but you have 10 damage. So, you really hope that you can, you can get some good stuff with that one. And then the next one here, so we have the, the shield, and that does plus 250 B power. Um, that's pretty good there. Um, that's a that's a good boost. I um, wish I had damage, but that, I mean that's a that's not a bad boost though. That's a, that's a pretty good boost. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and stick that to the side there. And then of course the Bakugan. 
Let's go ahead and try to get this thing unopened open here and just oh my goodness, this is gonna be a pain. Three weeks later. <laughs> many months later. Come on. This is killing me. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new Got it. Yeet. There you go. So this here is the hide doors uh, in aquas form. And of course there should be an arrow right there. Perfect. So yeah, so you see that arrow right there? That is the direction you want to roll it wherever that arrow is pointing so that you can land on the core that easiest or the magnet there so you can land on the core. Boom, pop open a lot quicker for you. So let's go ahead and open it up here and let's see what he looks like. And boom, there you go. Oh, he turned around. There you go. So yeah, so that is what the, uh, uh, the what is it? The Hydorus here looks like. Now he does have the feet that you can pull out. Uh, if I can get him out here. There we go. They're tough to get out though. Um, and just want to do that. There we go. So yeah, so you get his little feet put out there. So yeah, so that's what he looks like there. Um, looks pretty cool. Of course, his B power is at the bottom with 200. Um, so he looks pretty neat. Now, I don't know why they put it on the bottom there because you really can't see it unless if you do that. Um, they should have like put on this tail or like the the main back here. I don't know. It was kind of a weird placement. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, that's what he looks like there. Let's go ahead and close him up. Let's put the feet in first. Um, then you're going to close the head and the arms and then push it all together with the tail going in last. And there, there you go. So yes, that's what he looks like here. Um, and of course, we have our storage case here. Now, on this storage case, you have 14... Oh, I'm hitting the camera there. So you have seven slots here, seven slots here, and then you have three and one here. Now, you can fit four right here. Um, you just have to move this one over to here and th put another one there so you can fit four. So you really can fit 19 Bakugan in here. Um, so which is quite a bit of Bahugan in here, um, so which would be good. Now, of course, you can just close it down. There you go. Um, so let's go ahead and put my Bahugan in here, put that there, put the cores in here that we have, uh, put that in there, and just put the card in there just so you guys can see what it looks like there. So yeah, so you can do that, and then you just close it up, lock it in, and there you go. You're all set and ready to go. Um, so let's go ahead and put some more Bahugan in here. I'm gonna put some more Bahugan and uh, we'll get you guys in here so we can see what everything and how many cores and how many Bahugan we can fit in here. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. Alrighty. So, here, of course, we have all of our Bahugan in here. Uh, we actually only have 14 in here. Um, of course, we could fit more later on. Um, but, yeah, so you have all your cores. You can fit 16 cores in here um, without them kind of moving around. Now, if you want to fit more, you can. You do have this much space on top of it. So about just the height of the Bakugan here. So you can fit more, um, but I recommend not to because you don't want to damage your cores. And that's the same thing with the cards here as well. You can fit 43 cards in here. That is your deck and three character cards. That is it. Now, you cannot fit cards that are sleeved. Um, I tried doing that with uh, my deck here with the sleeved, and they do not fit. Um, I tried, it just it just wouldn't work. Um, so yeah, so it's, it has to be unsleeved cards, um, which is okay if you're just storing cards, then fine, that works. Um, but I'll be probably storing them just in my box here that I have. But all the Bakugan I will be storing in these containers. Um, so yeah, so you can't fit that, and of course you can close it down with everything in it, lock it in place, and pick it up, shake it around. Everything should be good. Now the cards you kind of see kind of move. That's because they do have that extra spacing on the top there. So yeah. Um, and that's the same thing with the cores as well. Let's go ahead and open it back up. And there you go. See, your guys are all set and ready to go. Um, like I said, some of the cards did move just because you do have that open space here. Um, sometimes the cores will move too because of that. But yeah, so you have everything. Everything is secure in here. So yeah. So that is pretty much it. Um, and let's go ahead and combine the two um together um and see what it looks like so there is that one and then we got the uh black one here now they connect by taking these little knobs that they have here the little knobs there and then they take that part there and lines up with that and you kind of just push them together and then there you go so let's go ahead and do that here and let's see what we can do um there you go i think that's it yeah perfect so yeah so they are connected there um and you pick them up all at once there and shake them around. 
do whatever. And now if you want to open up one, of course, you just flip this over. Open up that one. I'm just going to move this course back. Um, then, of course, shut that. Close it back up. Here, if I can get it. Um, let's see. I locked the, the actual lock. There you go. Hold on. Got the lock all messed up there. Couldn't grab the lock. Locking mechanism. No. I can't grab the lock. Oh, well. So, there's that one. We're just going to flip it over anyway. Um, and then, of course, the other side, you just flip it over. And there you go. There's the other side. So, yeah, you can access them pretty simply um, just by doing that. And, of course, this is just going to keep popping open, isn't it? Yeah, you're going to be some fun, isn't that one? So, yeah. So, that is that there. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you click that like button down below. Uh, and show me guys that you like this. And if you're new, make sure you click that subscribe button and become a cousin in our family. And remember, Ohana means family, and family means no one gets left behind or forgotten. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.